Run that back, Turbo. I think he's one of the most exciting players that I've seen. I think seen. he is the most dangerous player in football. You can football. get the biggest Chanel back in the store if you want it. I gave him the drill. What else could you conceivably ask for? Taking me drugs, I'm going to be up until tomorrow. Then ain't your car, you just... He's one of the most dynamic playmakers in all of football. He just came in and I'll run, run and drown. Off this way, doing all these shows. I've been on the road, I don't care where I go. Long as I get paid, bad little fire. She been on my mind, soon as I get back. I'm here with uh, Jalen Cropper, phenom, student athlete from Buchanan High School, uh, one of the top prospects in the nation, top athlete in the area. Uh, Jalen, for uh, spectators at home that don't know too much about you, about your whereabouts, where you come from, let them a little bit know where you come from, you know, where your hometown is, and, and also where you at today in life right now. I come from a small town, Parlier, California. Uh, we grew up just a football family. Uh, I was four years old ever since I wanted to play football, and my dream has just been to get to the next level, always uh, get to the NFL. That's been my dream since I was little. So and through your whole recruiting process, does uh, does this play affect coaches, receiving coach, receiving coach, offensive coordinator, uh, players? What plays a big effect besides your recruiting process? Uh, probably just the school itself and um, what they have to offer there academic wise. Uh, football is going to end at one point, just, that's 100% a fact. So I just got to know where, where am I getting my education from uh, and if it's going to be well for me in, in the long run after I'm done with football or if I make it to that next level. Okay, so uh, you know me, I've been with you probably for like four years now, going on five. Uh, I've seen tremendous growth in you, you know, some of the viewers on don't know the adversity that you overcame. You know, you've been through some tough situations, you overcame that. Um, I know about what, eight, nine months ago, you got hit with a little something. You know, it's probably a year anniversary, I hate to say it, but it, it happened like a year ago from now, which uh, you were set down for a little bit. Uh, how did you overcome that? Uh, what was it that you overcame at that point? Uh, you know, so I was in the hospital uh, for about three weeks uh, around this time. So yeah, this is the first the first year anniversary, but uh, Coming from that, it just, it just humbled me a lot. It showed me that it can't be taken for granted. Life can be. Uh, it, life is a, it's a, it's a gift. Uh, even though I don't have a bow around it, it's a gift. So uh, I was luckily that my family was there to support me and push me through, my friends, uh, coaches. Uh, everybody was there to push me through everything I went through. So uh, at the end of the day, my mind was set that I'm going to play this season, even though I wasn't able to walk at the time. Uh, my mind was set that I'm going to play all 10 games this season. And you know what? You did just that, man. You you, you overcame that adversity. You stuck with it. Uh, what transition from, from you moving from your, your city where you was playing high school ball at, your freshman to junior year, to coming to Buchanan High School, teaming up with Kendall Milton and Brock Jones and, and the Tanner Blunts and, and, and majority of the players on the team. How was that? How was that transformation going from, from Sanger to Buchanan? Uh, how was that? Walk us through that. Like, what made you make that move? Uh, so the tra the transition was pretty hard. Uh, I just I believe that my dad just wanted the best for me. Uh, my parents wanted the best for me at that. Um, I think I got that too with the coaching and Buchanan, with the players there getting to compete with Brock. Uh, I'm happy at the end of the day that helped me even more. Yes. Okay. So um, with that being said, let's get into the recruiting process. Let's get into the recruiting talk. Uh, what was one of the first engagement you had a recruiting like do you remember like phenomenal sophomore year when you having a berth in the state playoffs and you doing what you do on the field uh, was that the first time you really got introduced to recruiting after that season or was it before that like talk us through that a little bit when your um, first recruiting process yeah so my sophomore year the after our, our uh, valley game uh, i kind of had some coaches like coming in my dms just texting me uh saying like I watched your film and this and that, but I wasn't really familiar with all that. So that off season, I actually first met uh, one of the first coaches that came. Uh, it was an Oregon State coach, uh, Coach Russian. He came down. Uh, he was talking to my uh, coach Dan. So he was there. Uh, that was the first time I was introduced to all the whole recruiting process and all that. But after that, it just took flight. After that, uh, they got a hand of more of my uh, film. So that happened. And then I just, I just felt like I was like, this is what I want to do. This is why I just want to play football. So that recruiting process, is, it was, it started picking up. Uh, my junior year, I started getting some more offers going to my junior year. 
during that recruiting process, did any did anybody like have you geared towards a certain school because that's where you want to play, or they kind of like basically said, hey, this would be the best fit for you. And hopefully it wasn't the best fit for just you, it was the best fit for them as well. But what school made you, made, you, made it feel like out of your schools right now that made you feel that this might be the best fit for me out of your top four, top five? That's all we want to know. You don't got to give us the whole landscape of your 18, 20 schools. Out of your top, your top four, top five, so we, got, we, have, uh, we have Fresno State, we have Nebraska, mm -hmm. Cal, Utah. You miss anybody? No. So it's four. Yeah. So top four. So out of those four schools right there, uh, dabble in a little bit about what each school brings to the table, you know, as, as a conversation, mm -hmm. you know, as in you see yourself playing there. Just, just elaborate a little bit on each so, school about that. So Cal, uh, it's it's about three hours from here. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be close to home if I uh, end up choosing to go there. But Cal, they, they've been there, Coach Edwards, Coach Taller, everybody. Uh, they've been there helping me, telling me what's real from the jump. Yeah. Um, they, I see what they got going on over there in Cal with the receivers they produce and Deshaun Jackson, Keenan Allen, and all of them. So yes. I see that uh, they they produce receivers over there. Nebraska, it's being a Big Twelve, Big Ten team. Um, I see what they got building over there. They're new new coaching staff, so they're a whole new team. Uh, they have Adrian over there, so he's a hometown hero. Yes. So he's over there doing work. Uh, I know what he's doing up there. Uh, we've been talking. Um, I know. I know he likes it up there. Uh, it's it's pretty cold, but you know that's that's <laughs> yeah. that's what you're gonna have to deal with. But yes, sir. But he he likes it up there. He's going through the transition very well. And then Utah, Jalen up there. We've been talking. Uh, Utah's been real from the start. Uh, they've been they've been with me. They've been my they were my third offer. And they've been with me since the start. Uh, Coach McDonald, Coach Whittingham, uh, Coach um, Holiday, they've always been there just telling me, keeping it real. Uh, I think all these schools in my top four, they're in my top four for a reason, just because they've been keeping it real. Uh, they told me what it is and what it wasn't. Yeah. So they, they they didn't sugarcoat nothing. They didn't put nothing under the coat uh, just to, to show me that I'm, I'm, they want me there. They want me to go there to be a person that they want, they can build and make me a man. So I've been getting hit with the question, why does Jalen want to commit so early? Why does he want to get out the way? Why doesn't he wait till February, you know? He, he's this caliber player, you know, he has so much going on. Like, why don't he give him more time? Like, what's, what's making you decide on the 25th, which is only 24 hours, less than 24 hours away, to make this decision to what university you attend? So the, the main part just, I, I really wanted to get over with because it's, okay. it's, been, it's been a hassle, but at the end of the day, I got to get my, uh, my mind on my grades, yeah. uh, my mind on school yes. and what I got going on school because this decision, I, I felt really comfortable with making it uh, at this time. So after that, I could just focus on my grades and getting the offseason grind back in so I'm ready for the next level. So then, so it's no one else's opinion telling you, hey, Jay, let's commit. Jay, no. let's do this. Okay, so this is all you. Yeah. This is what you. This is what you premeditated months on end. Like this is what you wanted to do and make a decision. And then going to December was that December nineteenth? Yeah. National Signing sign Day. First. Yeah. And then you want to sign in December nineteenth and make that clear statement that you will be attending whatever university. Yeah. Uh, which, which I can honestly say, man, like what I've seen from your sophomore season, which I haven't seen a sophomore season like that by no athlete in the Central Valley. Uh, what you have showcased and what you've done. And then going to your senior season with the amount of touches you had, limited touches you had, and the ability to make plays, and, and, and those type of uh, situations was, was incredible. Uh, hopefully uh, that, that continues on. Hopefully your skill levels continue to develop. Hopefully you keep the same morals and values intact. And you continue on with that because uh, you know, and, and the people around you know, you got a bright future, you know what I mean? But it's easy to be taken away like that. Yeah. And, um, and you keep that head of steam, bro. You keep focus, you keep determination. Keep everything in perspective, you know, do great by others, do right by others, and everything else will take care of what needs to be taken care of, Jalen. Uh, but besides that, Jalen, uh, this interview, uh, I'm going to wrap it up right now, bro. Thank you, Jalen, for your time. Appreciate you, bro. Keep doing what you're doing. Sorry.